everybody, it is 150 Gallade here, and for Black and White Anniversary, in my Pokemon Black version, I'm still in the main story, and I don't want to show that. In my Black and White version, I've completed everything in the post-game, except battling the Elite Four, which my team is not prepared for. So, in my White version, I did a Blue Lock Challenge, and those are very so in this video for Black and White's anniversary, I will be sharing the rules to a Blue Lock Challenge. Rule number one, the classic Nuzlocke rule. Fainted Pokemon are considered dead and must be released or boxed forever until the main story is done. They can be traded to another game or transferred to another game, just as long as you do not use them for the main story. You can do whatever you want with them as long as you do not use them for the main story. Rule number two, edited for a blue lock challenge. If a blue Pokemon is in the area, yeah, well, you can do any. It's really a color lock and you can do whatever one you want, but I did blue. If a blue Pokemon is in the area, and this is not by depth color, this is by your personal eyes. So, if a blue Pokemon is in the area, then, yeah, regardless of whether you find it first or not, you must touch it as your encounter. If there are more blue Pokemon, whichever can be found in a lesser amount of areas will be your encounter. If there are no blue Pokemon in the area, or you caught all the blue Pokemon in the area, that uh, you just whatever you find first to your encounter, and that beats cause violates that, and that is even if you're playing with Deep's cause. Where Deep's cause is, if you've already caught a Pokemon, it can, does not count as your encounter. Okay, rule number three. Blue Pokemon are considered to be the leader of your team. You must have one in your party at all times. Rule number four. The leader must be the highest level in the party. If any Pokemon gets even equal level to the leader, they die. Regardless of they think or not. Yeah, so it's kind of like a level limit, but it's your Pokemon's level limit, not a junior. Rule number five. If in battle, the leader Pokemon dies, then, then only the Pokemon that killed the Pokemon that killed the leader, so let's say uh, the Pantsage killed your leader, then only the like Pantsir that killed that Pantsage would live. So let's say I had a Oshawott, Patrat, and Pantsir in my team. And then the, the Pantsage killed my Oshawott, which was my leader. And then my Pantsir killed the Pantsage. Well, then my Patrat would die too. So, yeah, well, why would I be using my Oshawott against a Pantsage? Rule number um, five, I think it is. Or, yeah, five. Rule number five is that for the Genius last Pokemon, this only applies in fifth generation because it's epic music. For Genius last Pokemon, you must use the leader to battle it. If the Genius is a Dragon Tail user, you must only have the leader in your party. So yeah, now I've covered all the rules. Let's look at the Pokemon I've had to use along my way on the blue black. Alright guys, these are the Pokemon I lost in my Blue Lock Challenge. And I'll reveal how they died. And none of them are actually leaders. Okay, first of all, Sigilyph. So I was very lucky to actually catch this in a Nuzlocke. So I went to that route, um, route, the last route in Uni route 16, yeah, 16, to train. And then I found a Scraggy. I'm like, Oh, I think the only move we can know at this level that's dark type is Thief, and trainers don't use TMs in this game. So I used Air Cutter. It survived with red HP, like about um, this much, and then used Payback, and it somehow killed my Sigilet. I didn't even use a physical move. I don't know how that happened, but it killed my Sigilet. The next one I was really dumb about. Okay, Tranquil. I was very excited to get a Tranquil since the Sigilyph was the only blue Pokemon, not blue Pokemon that I had that could fly. Later, I just decided um, I'll just teach a blue Pokemon fly and make sure it doesn't participate in battle. So, um, a Tranquil, this Tranquil 
I caught it and I was really happy and I found a wild Zeb Striker and I forgot about how fast Zeb Striker was and then you shockwave and trample just died. Now this one was just purely awful luck the next one coming. You blob the duo gym. Okay, so I was battling Terran Simicore with my Levani. And then if you scald, got a critical hit, my Levani was in the yellow. And I was pretty scared, so I just decided to switch out to you blob and have it bow. You scold again and got another critical hit. And then I lost you blob. Yeah, purely awful luck. I don't see how that's my fault at all. So next we have Crocs, the crocodile. And okay, so I was in a double bow with an Amoongus and something else, but the I forgot about the type advantage, but I think the Moongus was only like level 40 or 42, and I used Giga Drain. Drain, and there goes Crocs. And then Tails at Victory Road, it was Zeb Strika again. Really? I was in a. I forget what situation I was in exactly, but I was in a situation so bad where someone would have to die, and Tails was the least valuable member of my team. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So this is one big delay. Signing out. Stay awesome and goodbye.